Tired of those outdated post grids on your website? No worries. This tutorial is here to help you set up a super cool and unique post magazine grid with filters and pagination. So, let's dive right in and get started, shall we? But hey, before we begin, make sure you have the pro version of Unlimited Elements installed and activated on your WordPress website. Now head over to Unlimited Elements, Widgets, and simply use the search bar to find the amazing Post Magazine grid. Just hover over the search result and click on Install to add this awesome widget to your website. Easy peasy. To get started, simply head over to the page you want to edit and drag and drop the Post Magazine grid widget from the Widgets pane onto your Elementor canvas. This super easy process allows for seamless customization and enhances your overall editing experience. Now let's make the most of the post query settings to specify the posts you want to showcase in your grid. The widget fully supports displaying custom post types like products and pages, adjust the maximum number of posts to suit your desired layout, and take advantage of the widget's advanced post query rules to include or exclude specific posts. Once the widget accurately displays the desired posts on your website, it's time to configure additional settings. In the settings area, you have all the power to configure the number of columns, set the grid gap, and adjust the responsive settings to ensure a super smooth display on mobile devices. Within the layout section, you can toggle various elements of the grid layout to achieve the perfect display. For instance, you can choose to show buttons or enable metadata to provide some extra info about the posts. The grid section is where the real magic happens. It empowers you to customize the column and row span of each item, resulting in a unique grid layout that perfectly suits your website. It's time to style your grid using our awesome range of styling options. You'll have the flexibility to customize the default item height, add borders, or even apply a cool radius to the items. All the spacing and typography settings you need to personalize the widget's appearance and match it with your website are right at your fingertips. We've got you covered with all the imaginable settings. Let's take your post grid to the next level by incorporating live Ajax filters. Remember to enable post filtering in the settings and choose the pagination widget for the pagination type. Now, let's kick things off by adding pagination to your grid. This seamless feature can be easily integrated into your layout by simply dragging and dropping the pagination filter to your canvas. And don't worry, you'll have the flexibility to customize the settings and style to suit your specific requirements. Unlimited Elements offers a variety of filter types. For our use case, we'll use the tabs filter to add a taxonomy filter that dynamically changes the drink category when clicked. To ensure the first category is selected by default, simply turn off the Show All tab, and don't forget to enable the Override Query Terms option to dynamically update the posts displayed in the grid. In the Terms selection area, make sure the query matches the one in the grid by selecting the same post type. Refine the tabs displayed in your filter by including or excluding different terms. You can also style the tabs layout using the available layout and styling options. That's it, you're all set. Save the page and click preview to test the functionality and see how it looks on your live website. Remember, you can explore our demo through the link in the description. Use the copy button to directly import any section from our website to yours. For more information about the widget options, visit the documentation page on our website. To get access to our full widget library, including this widget and many more awesome widgets, backgrounds, and templates, get Unlimited Elements Pro from our website to give your Elementor project superpowers. We hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel for more awesome tutorials. We can't wait to see you in the next video. Thanks for joining us and see you next time.